This is Math Point 6 System of Equations. And back in Math Point 4, we talked about System of Equations and we talked about uh, whether a System of Equation has 1 or 0 or infinitely many number of solutions. So let's do a quick review. Um, a System of Equation, meaning something that looks like this. System of Equation means it has two equations and they're like a system. They work together. There are no solution when you end up with something that looks like x uh, 0 equals to a number, like 0 equals 5, for example. One solution, when you have x equals a number, like x equals 5, then that's a solution, x is 5. And they will have infinitely many solutions if you end up with 0 equals 0. And that's the algebra way. But if you want to use the calculator, if you're not used to the math way, or if you just want to quickly see the answer, do the calculator way would be step one. Um, graph the two equations and see how many times the graphs intersect. And if it intersects once, then it has one solution. If it never intersects, no solution. If it always intersects, meaning like it's a it's two overlapping line or graphs, then there are infinitely many number of solutions. Let's do practice. So you can do the algebra way, but here we'll do the math, the uh, SAT decimals calculator way. X plus x plus two y equals seventeen, and five x minus y equals eight. We have two lines here. Looks like it intersects at one point. What is the value of x? The value of x is 3. The value of y is 7. So the answer here is 3. Two equations. Let's go ahead and graph them. 2x plus 3y equals 31. And we have the other one as 3x minus y equals 30. And they look like they are two lines intersect at one point. What is the value of that? Okay, so the intersection point here is 11, 3. That means x is 11. So, okay, plus 40 and y is 3. So the answer is 1, 2, 2, 0. And similar um, process for number 2. So I'll leave number 2 for you to do as a practice. We'll move on to number 3. In the system equation above, a is a constant. So we can go ahead and graph those if it helps. 3x plus y equals 6. And the second equation is ax plus 2y equals 4. You don't know what a is, and that's what you're looking for. What is, what is the value of a? Has, have no solution. Remember, no solution means they do not touch each, touch each other. So what if, let's add a slider, what if a is um, choice a number my negative 6 move it to negative 6 and we have hey we have two parallel lines and they never touch each other so the value of a where they have no solution would be choice a negative 6 negative 3 would look like this they would touch here and for all other value for a they would touch the line somehow except when it's parallel and that's when a is negative 6 choice a um, and we kind of we kind of went over this last time another way to, instead of using the slider is you just plug in the a values here right away you can type in negative 6 you see that they're parallel you get the answer okay we'll do one last question and then you'll do the rest as well as the classwork and the homework the system equation above is graphed in the xy plane so let's go ahead and grab that y equals x to the second power, y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, so I have these two. Uh, the graph intersect at a point where x and y are positive. What is the y coordinate of the point of intersection? So we take a look at these. Um, this graph here, they intersect at two points. One is here, negative 1, comma 1, and one is here, 3, comma, no, uh, 3 comma 9. So there are two um, intersections. They intersect at two points, x comma y, but there is a condition here. x and y, they both have to be positive. So this point here, 
is negative, uh, negative 1 for the x value, where at this point, for the x value and the y value, they're both positive. So this is the point that you're looking at, 3, 9. What is the y-coordinate of this point of intersection? The y-coordinate is the 9, x, comma, y. So it's 9. The answer is D. Okay, you will do the rest. If you apply the what you learn about using the calculator, looking at the intersection, knowing what having no solution or one or infinitely many number solution means, you should be able to do these questions pretty quickly and uh, you should also find these questions to be pretty easy. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next lesson.